Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to be looking at this guy here, the Electrolyzer. Now the Electrolyzer is a bit of a funny block. Uh, it's not actually an energy storage block, but it is. Um, you can't get energy out of it. You can't really put energy directly into it. Um, the way it works is it's just a little bit different and it takes water cells on the left hand side or electrolyzed cells on the right hand side. That's that's basically how it works. Now the way you make this is with this little recipe here. We have empty cells in the bottom corners with a machine block and a circuit in the middle and copper cables above. And this is one of those recipes that you're actually probably going to need to get fairly early on because the electrolyzed cells are actually a component to make uh, the upgraded uh, the upgraded extractor. So you will need to get this fairly early on. Now what I have set up here is I've got an MFSU that's full and we have an electrolyzer sat on top. It doesn't need to sit on the output, it can sit on any side. So if you put in our water cells on there, you can see that it's gradually going to fill up and it will only fill up or only electrolyze the water cell when the power in the storage block it's adjacent to is over 75%. And what it will do is it will put in 15,000 EU into a water cell to make an electrolyzed water cell and that's basically what it's doing now I've got high voltage arrays here just to to get a lot of power in here so I can demonstrate this part but here we've got an electrolyzed water cell to come out of the other side and that's got 15,000 EU in it now what will happen when the MFSU drops below 25% like we have here you can actually put the electrolyzed cell on the right hand side and it will drain power back into it. Now this is going to put in uh, slightly less than it costs you to charge up the first time. It's actually going to, you're going to be able to recover 13,500 EU and it's transferring at 10 EU a tick just as over here it's storing at 10 EU, EU a tick so actually I've I've completely lied because that's 18,000 so uh, they must have changed the figures on it compared to what I'm looking at so I can assume that this is actually taking 20,000 EU to store which is then giving you 18,000 when you uh, discharge it so they're a little bit stronger than the wiki's telling me they are yeah the wiki's definitely saying uh, 13 and a half so that is basically the the electrolyzer for you now you do lose some power while you're storing but as you can see what you can do is you can just put an electrolyzer there charge up a bunch of cells you can even move them out store them into in your chests so you've got quite a lot of EU on tap whenever you need it. All you need is a, an electrolyzer to, to throw them in there to discharge them. So there you go. If I've missed anything or anybody wants to pick holes in those numbers which I've just pulled out of the air there, um, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, check me out on Twitch as well. Hit subscribe, follow my Twitter, do all the usual social media things and I will see you next time.